Road to GH will reveal that Sam's death was a devastating shock that plunged everyone around her into deep grief, but perhaps no one suffered more than her beloved mother, Alexis. For Alexis, losing Sam was not just the loss of a child, but also the loss of a source of comfort and hope in her life. That day, when the tragic news reached her, Alexis collapsed, unable to believe that her daughter was gone forever. The overwhelming sense of loss left her feeling directionless, struggling to find something to hold on to in life. Sam's death left a void not only in the hearts of everyone around, but also raised many unanswered questions. People wondered why Sam had passed so suddenly, a strong, vibrant young woman full of life and eager for discovery, seemingly with no reason to leave this world. Was she facing some hidden anguish that no one knew about? Or was there a deeper reason that led her down this tragic path? These questions haunted Sam's loved ones and friends, intensifying their pain in the absence of clear answers. Amid the confusion, everyone longed to uncover the truth, not only to better understand the loss, but also to find solace and peace for those left behind. Sam's death was like a deep wound, a reminder of life's fragility, touching the hearts of those who loved her. Her funeral was somber and heavy, the faint light filtering through the windows seemed to share in the sorrow of those present. The atmosphere was quiet, broken only by the soft strains of sorrowful music and the sound of sobs and sighs from mourners. Slowly, people approached Sam's coffin, laying down white wreaths, roses, and black ribbons as a final farewell. Incense smoke filled the room, mingling with the grief reflected in everyone's eyes. Alexis, however, was unable to maintain her composure. Her eyes were red, her cheeks swollen after countless sleepless nights and endless tears. Her face was gaunt, her hands trembling as she tried to hold on to her soaked handkerchief. Her body was exhausted, yet she struggled forward toward her daughter's casket. Alexis's steps were slow, heavy, and weak, her gaze fixed painfully on Sam's coffin, as if hoping this was just a terrible dream. The tension reached a peak when Cyrus appeared at Sam's funeral. His presence immediately cast a pall over the room. Many eyes turned toward him, filled with anger and coldness. People whispered, watching him with suspicion, for rumors had spread that he had intervened in Sam's medication, causing her sudden death. The already heavy atmosphere grew more tense when Alexis saw Cyrus. Consumed by pain and fury, she could no longer hold herself back. Alexis moved quickly toward him, her voice breaking in a shout filled with agony and rage. She accused him of being the reason her daughter had died, each word tearing through the silence. No one could stop her now. Unable to contain herself, Alexis lunged at Cyrus, striking his chest and shoulders, pouring all her grief and anger into each blow. She cried and hit him, her trembling hands relentless, each strike full of anguish. Cyrus stood still, his face pale, unable to lift his gaze to meet hers or the crowds. Those around hurried to intervene, trying to pull Alexis away from him, but she continued to cry out, her red-rimmed eyes filled with hatred for Cyrus. The funeral suddenly descended into chaos, a suffocating scene of grief and anger intertwining. Those present were silent, unable to find words, all haunted by the profound sorrow and Alexis's relentless fury. In her frenzy, Alexis pushed Cyrus hard, causing him to fall to the ground. The fall made him hit his head against the hard floor, blood trickling from his forehead and mouth, shocking everyone who witnessed it. He lay motionless for a moment, clutching his injured head with trembling hands, his face turning pale, his breathing shallow and weak. No one expected the situation to escalate this severely. The funeral scene, already oppressive, now brimmed with fear and shock. Some rushed to Cyrus's side, checking his condition, though their faces showed clear worry and discomfort. Drops of blood from his wound dripped onto the floor, blending with the incense smoke and the somber atmosphere of the ceremony. The sight added to the crowd's turmoil, murmurs growing louder as people exchanged looks of fear and confusion. Meanwhile, Alexis was still consumed by pain and fury. Held back by relatives, she trembled, her red eyes fixed on Cyrus lying motionless, unable to accept his presence at the funeral. People tried to comfort her, but her deep-seated anger and pain were beyond consolation. The entire funeral scene was overwhelmed by chaos, with raw emotions of grief and resentment breaking free, leaving a wound not only on Cyrus's body but also in the hearts of all present. Sam's funeral was no longer a quiet farewell but had turned into an unforgettable tragedy, where accumulated sorrow and anger erupted uncontrollably.